What is going on in the Loop Vans? It is Drew here, and I'm at Uncle Bernie's Amusement Park. What is Uncle Bernie's Amusement Park, you might ask? Well, this is the small family-run adventure that we have here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. They got tickets to ride, so you can ride with that. Not a bad deal there. Those tickets cost uh, $20 for 25 of them, which was plenty of tickets to go on some of the rides here. Up first, we got this swinging, bo or, uh, swinging balloon ride. You get to go in there and you swing around with those boats, so that's pretty cool. Up here on the right-hand side, we have a dunking booth. You can pay tickets to, you know, splash, splash the lady. Throw the ball, hit the plunger, and bam, goes into the water. Moving on here, we got this awesome-looking kitty dinosaur ride. The riding dragons or something. You get to hop and hop, bounce around like that. That's pretty sweet. And you've got paddle boats. You can ride a little paddle boat riding around. Over here, this is something I thought was neat. Didn't do it. But you got this like kind of jeep attraction for three tickets that definitely looks overgrown and I don't actually know if it was operating. I never saw anyone riding it. But uh, the, the the pathway there definitely looks overgrown. So if you can ride it, maybe you can, maybe you can. I don't know. Continuing on the pathway down here. The park is just one long midway, but they got all the rides here on both sides of it. Get another kid's little ride over here. And then we came to this thing. Holy crap, I've never seen a flat ride quite like it. It's definitely aggressive, bouncing around. You go flying. I looked like it would make me sick, so I didn't do it, but it, it looked way too expensive for Uncle Bernie. Definitely looked like a, uh, a bigger attraction than anything else they had. It's in this really neat uh, like structure, because they really didn't want to get the ride wet, I guess. So it had that little shade structure there. You've got the fire engine that goes around, sort of like a camp bus or something like that. You see it. The standard uh, Camp Snoopy area. Moving on here, kind of a carousel-like thing where you're in the uh, little coaches where you got little horses you can sit on, another adorable little children's attraction. Continuing on here, what do we got next? Oh, a simulator. We got a simulator ride here, kind of like Star Tours, only a little, little more ghetto, I guess. You sit in the simulator and you, you get to ride, but it's definitely not in a building. But four tickets to ride, and you get to ride the, uh, the simulator. I have no idea what the movie was, but there's one here for you if you wanted to uh, check it out. Now, as you mentioned, the park is at a flea market, so you actually, the building behind it is a flea market. And look at this truck ride. Man, these things are whipping around. Uh, this is definitely one of the attractions I checked out, because you're going way faster than you looked, whipping around, moving side to side through that. Really enjoyed that, that little adventure truck ride. Definitely not a kid's ride. More thrilling than that. You're right, you got the ticket booth there where we got our tickets. And uh, one thing that you really are pushing for here is to celebrate your birthday here. You can, uh, across from the truck area, you can rent out this space really right to here celebrate to celebrate your birthday. All right, right behind the log flume. We've got the Kids Coaster. Check it out here. This is one of the two roller coasters here. It's, uh, it's the Kitty Coaster. Looks cool. So then we uh, had to go for a ride on it.
Ben. All right, and here's one final look at the abandoned mine roller coaster from up above. You can see it's just a, a small little kid's coaster. Not too exciting, but it has a little shed you go to, which is kind of weird. Uh, been there since 2002. But uh, pretty pretty good. It sounds around a lot. You can see we got about six laps on that adventure, which uh, was more than I needed. i got to admit, when I uh, kitty coaster credit for I'm good with uh, like one lap and I'm like perfect I can move on to the uh, to the next uh, four-ish adventure that I'm gonna go on all right let's wander around the midway more and see what else we can find uh, speaking of those adorable trucks I just happen to have two of them sitting here on the pathway if you wanted to uh, sit on them and not want to do the attraction where you go around faster you sit in one of the trucks it's cool over here they had a log flume I actually had a pretty decent drop for the log flume. Check this out here. There's a splash there. And um, uh, not too wet on it. We'll say it's being held up by some logs, which is kind of weird. But that's okay. Got uh, one more look here at the drop there. Boats coming down. And we got a little splash guard there so the water doesn't get onto the, uh, the pathways, which I appreciate that. Can't complain about that more on these trucks. I'm not leaving too much space in there. Couldn't fit in there. But I can fit on, fit on that. In fact, that's where I sat. Here's the station for the mine kitty coaster. Moving on here, we've got a uh, little fishy frog. I think they're whales. They're different color whales. Check out these whale rides here. You got all the different color whales. You get a red whale, and then a green whale, and an orange whale, and a pink whale. And so you get to hop around on whales. That's really adorable. And then the bumper cars over here. The Ferris wheel is kind of neat because it definitely didn't run. It just ran off this water fountain here. So the water filled up buckets and it pushed it around. So it it wasn't rideable, but they still used water to make it move around. An abandoned simulator over here. I don't know if they used to run two together or that one used to stand there and actually operate it. But it was definitely abandoned now. Down in the end here we've got uh, an inflatable fun slide. And finally, the other coaster credit here, the Dragon. If you're not a powered coaster fan, I guess you don't need to count this one. However, if you do count powered coasters, you got one over here. RCDB counts it, so it works for in the loop. Also sends you around way too many times. That right there is the Dragon Coaster. Naturally, we in the loop would have to uh, check it out for ourselves. One other fun thing over here, you got a couple of abandoned bumper cars just sitting on their sides. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch this tour of Uncle Bernie's theme park here in Fort Lauderdale. We appreciate you watching it. Make sure you check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash in the loop podcast. You can follow me on Twitter at Drew the Intern, and we will see you on the midway, whether it be Uncle Bernie's or some other. Yeah, look at that Jeep ride.